Matt Moore still maintains the bearing, the upright posture of a man who served in the military. But look a little closer. You see a man who lost his way. Now Moore, a former infantry gunner, is trying to find his way back. I was uh, 22, you know, I thought it uh, would be a good idea to join the army and, you know, do what I can uh, for our country. I was uh, out in uh, 2011. I was uh, dishonorably discharged for, for drugs. When I got back from tour, you know, I had a hard time coping and, you know, transitioning back into uh, the civilian world. Uh, you know, I found I was on high alert all the time and, you know, always looking for for that rush that uh, I got on tour, that adrenaline, that adrenaline pump, and you know the the, the fear. You know, was uh, a bit exciting at the time, and you know I found that uh, drugs were one of the things that uh, could make me feel that uh, type of adrenaline and rush again. You know, I found that uh, in the military, you're always go 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 and. You know, they, they say in the army, you know, if you don't meet your timings, uh, uh, people die. And uh, when I got out, you know, I, uh, I didn't feel that urgency to, you know, make timings and, you know, do things, you know, according to plan and on time. There, there are things that go on over there that, uh, you know, you're not accustomed to before joining the army. And, you know, at times you're unable to cope with, uh, you know, those things that happen. But uh, on the other hand, when I joined, I was prepared to go do the things I did. And, uh, you know, I, I take, that, uh, take that very seriously, knowing that I knew what I had to do and did what I had to do. And, you know, I, I, I don't blame the army for a thing, and that's the truth. Uh, yeah, it was an eye opener. You know, you, uh, it's a different, different world out there. You know, you really get a greater appreciation for the things you had and gave up and, you know, realized that, uh, you know, life wasn't so bad uh, before uh, my addiction, per se. That's been, uh, that's been my anchor my whole life. You know, uh, I had a great hockey career when I was younger, played uh, junior B, very competitive hockey. The drinking got me back then, you know, the drug has got, uh, got a hold of me now. And, uh, you know, if I don't get that, uh, that taken care of now, you know, I might be here 35 having this talk with you, which, uh, you know, I don't want to be doing that, you know? They keep offering me the help. They know that I'm just gonna, part of my language, keep messing up or f***ing up and, uh, you know, they put me in that corner and they know that I have the ability to fight out, fight out of that corner and, you know, get back on my feet. I'm a very resilient person. I, I hope to have a family. Uh, I hope to rekindle my relationship with, with my loved ones and, you know, I hope to uh, attain a new career that, you know, I enjoy doing every day and, you know, feel like I'm giving back to, you know, our country and, our society and you know, I want to live a happy full life. I want to live till I'm, you know, 95 and kick back in a rocking chair with the girl I love, you know. With a Sun News Special Report, I'm Brian Dunstan.